If you collect comic books and send them to CGC, you don't want to miss this episode. Great White and I, and a special guest, are going to grade 10 comic books, send them into CGC, and you will find out what we got when they come back in the same episode. You don't want to miss it. Do we get them right, or do we fail miserably? We're going to find out. Nerd, nerd, nerd. Nerfarious. I'm Stark, Tony Stark's cousin. And I'm Great White. And we're here again with Kenny Mesnard from Bravo Blast Entertainment. Thanks. Good to be here. So for our first book, we have Wolverine number one. All right, looking at just just two minor uh, spine ticks is all I can see on it, and a, a slight uh, abrasion of something on the back. I'm going to say that that's going to come back a 9.2. Um, I went a little bit lower. Um, it's really hard to keep black covered books and to get them rated really high, so I put it down as an 8.5. I went a little higher than Ken. I went 9.4. So it's nine months later, and we've got the books back, and we're going to share with you what they scored and if we think they did a good job of grading them. Wolverine number one, an 8.0. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I kind of had a little low there. I had a 9.2. I'd be curious as to why that book got such a grade yeah i'm not happy with that at all because i had it as a 9.4 i feel like i really got i had it at an 8.5 and I, I thought i was being a little conservative on it i never would have dreamed it'd come in below that yeah there's really i there's really hardly anything you can see that's wrong with this book just one minor spine tick that i can see yeah i was looking at the back i don't see any standing on the white crazy yeah crazy don't like it <laughs> glad it's not my book <laughs> <laughs> on to our second book we have x-men 205 this book is nothing special it's worth a little money but i really like the cover well i see a color breaking uh crease on back cover corner i see a couple other little bins I am going to say that this is going to be an 8.5. Okay, there again, I'm I'm just a little bit lower. For some of the same reasons that Ken mentioned, I'm going to give it, say it's going to come back as an 8.0. And I'm going to go above Ken's ranking and go a 9.0. So, what was it? 8.0, 8.5, 9.0. I'm hoping that with some pressing it comes out okay. Okay. Yeah, you can't you can't press out the crease though. That's the color breaking crease. I am I am super optimistic <laughs> that the comic book gods will take pity on this book and make it better. All right. Uncanny X Men number two oh five. Come in at a grade of eight point five. Nailed it. Ken nailed it, all right. I came in I said nine point oh. I said eight point oh. So that's not bad. I'm happy with that. Captain America 323, this is the first appearance of John Walker, a.k.a. Super Patriot. So, typical non-color breaking bins. Um, I am going to say on this one, I am going to say 9.0. Wow, I'm, I think I'm having a harsh day here. I'm not feeling the Captain America. Um, I had a few more issues with the book. Um, around the top staple and some of the things Ken mentioned, I'm going to say it's going to come back 7.0. Wow. I went just above Ken's again with a 9.4. So well, those are some, you're just optimistic, you know? Yeah. The I'm just a little, little more. The difference be between them being my books and your books, I guess. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'm, yeah. These are my books. So I'm pretty, pretty really wanting a higher grade. <laughs> Captain America 323, 9.4. Very nice. Yeah, I'm happy with that one. I actually 
said it was going to be a 9.4, so I got that one on the money. Nice. Yeah, that was conservative. That was that 9.0. You guys did a really nice job, and we're not going to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> on to our next. This the, A lot of these books are from Captain America. This one is Captain America 354. Now, this is where it's the first appearance of John Walker as U.S. agent. All right. I'm going to throw you a bone here, and I'm going to say that this one's going to be a 9.2. Wow, I am having a harsh day. <laughs> I apologize to start. Um, there again, I have a problem with the top pay, uh, staple placement where it ends up as far as not being in the spine. Um, there's a little ding in the top left corner. And there again, same thing I said about the Wolverine book. It's so hard to get a black covered book in that, in that 9.0 range and up. I had this at a 7.5. I had the same score as Ken on this in 9.2. Well, then, then I must be wrong. You, that makes you are bad. grading wrong now. <laughs> this makes me the bad guy. <laughs> I'm ho I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. Here we go. Next in line, Captain America 354, 9.2. Well. Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> nice job, guys. You did really well. <laughs> me, not so much. Did you have 9.2 as well? Yeah. Bob, what'd you have? Yeah, that was a 7.5. I still, I, I don't know. There's still a couple <laughs> things on here that bother me that I think that it, I don't want to knock your grade, but there, I don't know that I would have gone 9.2 on it just for a couple items, but still, I'm nice happy. Book. I like the cover. I like that cover. All right. And then this next book is Captain America 230. Uh, it's just a great Great looking cover. I must say, with a good presser, you're gonna get nine point zero. Um, yeah, this is one I'm uh, reasonably optimistic on for some reason. <laughs> I, um, just a little bit of spine roll, but everything looks solid. Uh, corners seemed crisp. Um, I think it's gonna come back as a nine point two. I'm a little more optimistic. Nine point eight. Uh, no. <laughs> Just a little, just a tad optimistic. Nine point four. Uh, we'll see. We have Captain America number two thirty. Nine point six. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, that was real little. Yeah, I'm happy with because I like the the cover's just awesome on this book. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good cover. Yeah. And even I didn't mess that up too bad. I have, I put nine point two. Okay, now we're we're getting into the more uh, recent books. This is Captain America number six. It's a <coughs> limited me, variant. Sorry. First appearance of the Winter Soldier. All right, so a lot of non color breaking bins. I'm gonna say it's gonna be well. I'm gonna say nine point two with the press. Yeah, yeah, I agree with the press. I'm, I had the exact same score. I think it's going to come back 9.2. I'm saying with the press that the comic book gods are going to say 9.8. Okay. Wow. Yeah, wow. yeah. CGC is going to like that book. Wink, okay. wink, CGC, if you're watching, give that book a high grade. <laughs> Captain America number six, a 9.6. Nice. Well yeah, played, I had, sir. I had it as a 9.8, but and I'll take a 9.6. I was, um, this is the variant edition, and I'm glad it came back high because I really like that issue. Yeah, I graded a little lower, but I guess the press must have really helped that one. Yes, I, I did as well. I had a 9.2. Okay, now we're to some Avengers issues. This is Avengers 196, first appearance of the Taskmaster. I have always loved the Taskmaster. I have always loved this book. I've had a couple, uh, you know, growing up reading the Avengers. This is a good book. It's in really decent shape. It's uh, got a slight, you know, uh, cover wrap, but uh, that doesn't necessarily hurt the grade. Oh, sharp corners. I'm gonna say this is a. I think I'm, I'm feeling the love on this one. I think this one's gonna get a 9.4. I think. Uh, 
Yeah. Nice. Is that the highest one I've given out so far, I think? I believe so. And I'm not feeling the love as much. Uh, spine roll on the back on one of the corners. There's a crease, um, a little scuffing on the front that removes the green, the solid mm -hmm. color green. Yeah. Um, like I said, I hope I'm wrong on this, but I have it coming back as a 7.5. All right, I'm hoping with the pressing, it's going to come back as a 9.0. So I'm the optimistic one. Yeah. Probably because of my love for the book. I just <laughs> love that book. Fingers crossed on this next one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next. Avengers number 196, 9.4. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> well played, sir. Nailed it. Nice. Yeah. Ken got it right on the money. Um, I love the Taskmaster. I do too. I, I I'm not an Avengers collector, but I would own that book if that was you know I did own that book at one time, but I sold all my Avengers. But I uh, love that cover, and that that's one of the, the non-focused books I probably would pick up. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, now we've got another uh, Avengers book. This is West Coast Avengers. And it's the first appearance of the White Vision. This book is a mess. This book has a lot of spine ticks, which is also happens to be my uh, personal, uh, I don't know what do you call it, phobia, or <laughs> I personally hate the spine, the color breaking spine ticks. So uh, this is like a 6.0 because none of those are going to press it out. Yeah, uh, the, all the most of the problems with that book are on the spine. I I agree. I'm a little bit more optimistic on it. I had to come back as a 7.0, but uh, yeah. 9.8. I have it down. <laughs> and on good, you know, recommendation that this will come back as a 7.5. Okay. I didn't I didn't go too high on that. I graded this next one super low, so I'm curious what this one's going to be. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. West Coast Avengers number 45. It got a 7-0. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's that's in line kind of with what I was thinking. I had it as a 6.0, one grade off, but those mid-grades are kind of hard to, to, when you start accumulating defects, it's hard to judge, I think, so... Yeah, I actually got this one right on somehow. Yeah. So Bob nailed it. Very good. I was I was off by one. So on a side note, did you see where they announced that he's getting his own show? White Vision. This will be up for sale real soon. Then. <laughs> <laughs> that was real big for a while. Well, not too yeah. long ago. Yeah. All right. Then now we have Thor three ninety. This is the first time Captain America lifts Thor's hammer. I mean, there isn't, there's just one really problem area, and I don't know how well that's going to press out, but. Yeah, I don't know either. I'm going to say just, I mean, just, I can't tell if that, how, how that's going to work out, but the, I mean, everything else seems to be really nice about it, except for that one little bend on the top. So I'm going to say 9.0 on that one. Okay, I'm. I have, apparently, I have to be the harsh one today. Um, there's some spine roll. I saw a couple of other uh, defects, uh, some ticks, um, a blunted corner. Um, yeah, I only have it come back as a six point five. Wow. Okay. Um, I have it down as an eight point eight eight point oh. So, would you say nine point oh? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. We'll see that. Yeah, that top edge is. I just don't know how, how that's going to work yeah. out. We have Thor, three ninety, nine point six. Very good. There, there was a slight cr crease at the top of this book. Is that what it was? Yeah, I had it at very fine nine near mint. So I was curious as to what gave it such. You know, the, so the press must have really. It did a it did really a great job. On that. Yeah. And I'm real happy because that's the that's when I'm, I had it as an 8.0 because of that crease. Yeah. Wow. Turned out really well. Yeah. Very nice. And now we're to the last book. This is a, a great book. Yeah. 
Yeah. This happens to be Great White's book, and it is Alpha Flight Number One. So I love John Byrne stuff. I loved the early Alpha Flights. I mean, this is sharp corners. There's a slight, uh, like, uh, roller pull at the bottom left corner. Uh, but this is going to be, I think this is going to be a good one. I think you're going to get a 9.4 on this one. Yeah, I'm slightly less optimistic, uh, and you can tell by my scores that um, I'm not fully on board. There's a couple little spots on the top and bottom corner, but I agree with you. Other than that, it's crisp. I mean, uh, there's no rubs on the yellow or anything, small crease in the top. But I think after pressing, I think I might be able to get a 9.2 out of it. Um, I looked at it, I thought it was a 9.4, and I'm optimistic that it might get 9.8 with a pressing. Uh, this is uh, Alpha Flight number one, got a 9.4. Really pleased that I've, obviously this book has no real market value right now, but um, big fan of beer and growing up. I'm really happy, really happy. I had it originally in 9.2. So. Nailed it. <laughs> you had a good round, sir. Well played. Yeah. I had it as a 9.8. Uh, I, wow. I was rooting for you. Yeah, I appreciate that. So <laughs> when we come in, we, we averaged out. Yeah. Ken nailed it. But yeah, really pleased with that. And even though, like I said, it really has no value other than to me. Now to see how, how we did. Ken got four of the ten books right on the nose. Pound it. Um, I got two, and Bob got one. one. And then to see what the averages were as far as how far we we're off, um, and and in this instance it would be like if we graded it a 9.0 and it came in as a 9.4, you'd be off by two. So that's what, how I scored this and then averaged it. Or for these 10 books, Ken came in with... 15 he was off by 15 yeah. which is an average of 1.5 one and a half um, per book on the grade um i came in at 17 so i was off by 1.7 yeah and unfortunately bob had some that just were yeah, I, was I, not I, his thing i mean they were really i was low. much harder on like ken said the, the mid-grade stuff the older the Captain Americas, and I, I went really low on them. There's a little, and I need to start thinking more of what they're grading at, not what I like. There's yeah. some, some stuff. It's just simple stuff. The staple placement. You know, I I got three books of one, and the staples are off of one. I consider this one a better book than that one, and that's not necessarily true. Well, the thing here is on these scores, if you blow one book. Like I blew two pretty good. Yeah, Thor. then that'll really throw you off. Yeah, the Thor and I think the Captain America three twenty three, or two thirty, whichever one. But yeah, so yeah. Bob had thirty, which is an average of three. But you can only get better, right, Bob? No, you absolutely. Could get worse. No, no, no. <laughs> you could. No, I don't think so. I just uh, I need to keep that in mind. And the the one that really hurt. I mean, I missed the two of them by over three. But just because I was just seeing some things that weren't there that come out impressing, and then some of my idiosyncrasies that come out my grading instead of saying, you know, this is the criteria, this is where you need to stay. So we'll see. We'll see you next time. We'll okay. see you next time. If you like this comic book grading video, hit the like button, leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you, or we'd really appreciate it if you subscribe. We've got more videos like this planned and you're not gonna wanna miss them. If you love comic books as much as we love comic books, hit that button.